time since I've put up a video and seriously, it is the hardest thing trying to get back into a routine once school has started. So I, I apologize for that, but I am so, so, so excited about fall. Literally, like I have so many fall video ideas just based around fall, like weather, makeup, trends, everything like that. So please hang in there with me. Those will be coming soon, hopefully. But today I wanted to do a fall glamour makeup tutorial because for one, my favorite look is just the burgundy lip, but why not tie it together with a glamour eye? I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below fall videos you are wanting to see or any fall makeup trends that you would like to see. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. So let's get into it. So one product that I have been loving lately is this Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And I love it because it works as a primer for your foundation and to cover up those pores. So next what I'm going to be doing is using my Max Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm going to literally put that all over my lid, also on the lower lash line and on the inner corner, just wherever I'm going to be putting eyeshadow. And I'm going to start with eyeshadow because if there's any fallout, out, I can remove that before doing my foundation. So the star of the show today is going to be this color, Half Baked, by Urban Decay. And I am going to be applying that all over my lid and stopping at the crease. And I'm going to apply a generous amount because that's going to be our main color. And just once you've got it all over the lid, then we are going to move on to the crease color. And the two colors I'm going to be using to start the um, transitioning is Taupe and Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to be using my E35 blending brush and I'm just going to slowly buff that into the crease. This isn't going to make a huge difference, but it's just going to give your crease a little bit of dimension. And it's just going to start as a transition color and shade for our next colors. So after I've gotten the crease darkened up a little bit more, then I'm going to be using oh, the wonderful um, Makeup Geek Shadow in Bitten. And this color is a more of a burgundy-ish purple color, and it's just going to tie in with that burgundy look or burgundy lip at the end. So as you can see, this is a color, and I'm just going to start putting that into my crease and working that out. Normally where you would put like a darker brown or black in the corner, this is where you're going to replace it with that bitten color. And then just to darken it up a little bit more, I'm going in with a Makeup Geek Shadow in Cocoa Bear. And it's just a brown with a reddish undertone. And I'm just going to mainly focus it on that outer corner and outer V just to darken it up a little bit more. Then for my eyeliner, of course, I couldn't use anything else. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible S Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing a wing today, but instead of bringing that all the way into the inner corner, I'm going to start at least stopping it halfway and on the middle of my eye and then once I get there I'm just going to push it very closely to my lash line because I really don't want this wing to take away from the look and then I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just going to apply a couple coats I don't want them too thick because I am going to be applying lashes and the lashes I'm going to be using are the Katy Perry lashes. And actually these, you don't have to apply glue. They're self-adhesive, so I was just going to try them out. And actually they worked really well and stayed on all day, so I was really excited about that. And plus they're really natural looking. They're not too dramatic. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay, and I believe I'm in the color Medium Beige. That's usually the color I am. The sticker unfortunately rubbed off, but then I'm going in with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush, and I'm just going to buff that in, and that way if I had any fallout or anything messed up with my eyes, I can just go over that, and I don't have to worry about messing it up. 
So I'm just going to buff that in. Buff, buff, buff. We don't want any harsh lines, so make sure you drag it all the way onto your neck. And then after that, I'm going to be applying my concealer. Right now, I'm using the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion, and I'm just going to put that in a upside down triangle under my eye and I'm just going to always blend it in with my fingers that is my favorite unless I do have a beauty blender then I like to blend it in with that but today I just prefer to do it with my fingers and anything other than under my eye I do like to buff it in with my foundation brush um, if your concealer is really lighter than your foundation it's a lot easier to um, apply it some other places such as your forehead and your cupid's bow so you're not so washed out under your um, eye and it kind of evens your face out and then to set it I'm using the NYX HD photogenic um, translucent powder and I'm just going to set anywhere I put that concealer so it doesn't move or crease or settle into any fine lines and then next I'm just going to fill in my brows but since it was taking forever I just went ahead and took that out so I'm just going to fill them in and I am going to set them with the Anastasia brow gel in chocolate I believe and I'm just going to put that on so they stay all day and do not move and now onto the highlight for my brow bone. I'm using Van Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. I have been loving this for a highlight color because it's not too white and it's not too cream, but it also has a tiny bit of shimmer, so it really brings out the highlight of your brow bone. And then after highlighting, we are going to move on to the lower lash line. If you do not put anything on your lower lash line, it will make a total difference and you can tell when you do put something on your lower lash line. It just makes it come together and look a little bit more smoky. So I'm going in again with Bitten and Cocoa Bear and I'm just going to apply that on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then for the inner part of my lower lash line we're going to be going back in with the half baked color so it's just going to highlight that inner corner and then the outer is going to be a lot more smoky and this is just going to complement your eyes so much when you do this Then I'm just going to apply a thin coat of mascara on my lower lash line. When I have lashes on, I don't like to put a lot of mascara on the lower lash line because I don't want it to overpower the top part. So next I'm going in with my Hoola Benefit Bronzer, of course, and I'm actually going to be using the brush it came with. It's kind of like a dupe for the NARS Eda brush, but very, very much cheaper. And then I'm just going to contour my cheekbones, my forehead, a little bit on the sides of my nose, under my lip, and on my chin area as always and I'm just going to do that and then after we're going in with our blush I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me blush and this is in Deep Rose I believe it is a gorgeous fall rose color and it complements my skin tone so much next I'm going in with the NYX um, lip liner in Current and I'm just going to line my outer lips you don't want to overdraw them because you can tell especially when it's a darker lip um, but I'm just going to apply that and then I'm going in with the NYC Mahogany. This lipstick is amazing. It's a gorgeous burgundy color and it was only $1.76. So checkpoint for that. So then after you've applied your lipstick, you are completely done. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall glamour makeup look. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.